Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Pillow here. Welcome back to my channel. Good to see you guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and most importantly, click on the bell icon so you guys will get notified whenever I have a new video that's uploaded. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about Oscar, uh, which is also another TikTok star, and I want to share some of the videos um, that I thought were funny and they definitely made me laugh. And hopefully they will be able to make you guys laugh also. All right. He is 16. He's from Dallas, Texas. He currently have about 50,000 followers on TikTok. So if you guys like his video, please remember to follow him on TikTok. Stupid ass hoe. <laughs> Obviously, that was a big lie. I mean, like, if you were only late for five minutes, your teacher wouldn't have called your mom and saying that you skipped the entire period. Uh, kind of reminds me of myself when I used to be in high school. Uh, I skipped ROTC and I was literally, like, late for five minutes. Well, like, I skipped it, but it was only, like, five minutes in. And they call my mom saying I skipped the class. And I had to lie about it saying that I was hiding in the restroom. And the security guy, she went into the restroom just to check on me. And they couldn't find me. I was so busted. <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a trend right now for like, I don't know, maybe all the high school kids or middle school kids, I don't know, for all the teenagers right now. Everybody just saying, snorting coke is not good. I think that's what it means, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, leave a comment in the comment section below, let me know. But I think that's what it means, guys. But then like, I guess like a fun fact for cocaine is, honestly, you can do it for like three or four weeks. But if you continue to do it, then you will get addicted. So it's actually okay to do it maybe a couple of times. But however, just because I say it's okay to do it, guys, doesn't mean I'm telling you guys to go do it, to go try it. No. Don't do drugs, guys. Don't do any drugs. Alright? Stay positive and stay cool. Be in school. What the fuck? Man, all these notifications. Ooh, that was a close one. What the fuck? Wow. I, I knew that. Oh shit, los frijoles! Wait a minute, but I'm at my house. Ma! <laughs> this is a funny video. It's actually pretty creative, I think, especially at the end. Survival lockdown and then suddenly the light just shut off. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I wonder who's helping him. Maybe his mom or like his dad or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, it's pretty creative. I like that a lot. Good job. Keep up the good work. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, support him by proving the teacher wrong, guys. Go follow him on his TikTok channel. Make him famous, guys. Prove all the doubters that they are wrong. I mean, like, I can totally relate to him. I mean, even when I'm doing my video, I have people saying that, you know what, you're not going to make it. You know, I don't like your videos. But that's totally fine. Just do your thing, right? There's going to be people that's going to like you and there's going to be people that will never like you right so forget about those people and just keep doing your thing guys and make sure you guys go subscribe to his tiktok channel and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel guys and don't forget to click on the bell icon guys <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I see you. I see you. 
Yeah, that was cool. I actually like the music at the end. I wish it was a little bit longer. Just a little bit. It was a little bit too short for me, but yeah, I feel you. I see you. Yeah, you cool. You one of them cool kids. <laughs> Put a rapper in a suplex, I'm killing these lames. I am the real slim shady in my Eminem face. Just salute me when you see me like it's Veterans Day. All these new rappers sweeter than some lemon meringue. If the show's not litty, then I can't go there. I'm more hated than the rapper with the rainbow hair. <laughs> Who I can totally relate to this. I feel like moms can never understand. It's like every time I get into a fight, my mom is always like, Oh my God, why did you get into trouble? Why did you get into fight? Why did you have to fight somebody? It's like, oh my God, mom. It's like I was getting picked on, you know, like, like the kids were doing all these things to me. Like, what do you want me to do? Right. But it's like when I tell my dad about it, my dad actually understands. It's like, yo, so I mess with you. You better go knock them out. You better go knock them out. And I'm, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, go knock them out. But yeah, that was a long time ago, guys. That was a long time ago. If now someone were to fight me, I'll probably run away. <laughs> you have me suicidal, 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 suicidal. <laughs> well, that video wasn't funny, but if you guys needed some tips, if you guys are going through a breakup, you know, if a girl broke up with you guys, or let's say a guy broke up with you, just stay cool, try to be their friends, right? You know, stay being friends and just keep talking to them, text them, call them, and, you know, realize what you did wrong, right? And just try to fix all those things. And eventually they will come back to you. Just keep trying to improve. I think that's the most important thing. Just stay in contact, be a better self, and eventually you guys will be able to get that person back. I guarantee you guys. Alright? The worst thing to do is not talk to them for months, years, or even forever. That's the worst thing to do. I know a lot of people can have like very bad anxiety. I have really bad anxiety in high school. You know, a lot of times I'm just like so worried. Like, should I call her? Should I call her? Should I not call her? Should I call her? Should I not call her? You know, just like this constant struggle in my in my brain. Like it just like a constant pull, right? It's like, should I call her? Should I not call her? Like, I don't know. But you guys should definitely stay in contact, you know, just hang out sometimes as friends and just try to be your better self. And that's all that matters, guys. You ain't no competition, boy, don't think you wanna do that. You had that chance, but you blew that. Everybody asking who that. Who the fuck going on? <laughs> that was funny. Um, it's actually very relatable. I was like the same thing too. Every time I go to class, like five minutes in, I would totally knock out. And the worst thing is, I would start drooling all over the table. So by the time I actually wake up, there's literally like a pool of like saliva on the table. I know it sounds kind of gross, guys. <laughs> so, but like that was totally relatable to me. It happened to me like so often in high school. But the good thing was, I was able, I was still able to pass my high school, so yay for me. <laughs> I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got hey, some bitches in my life, and they all mine. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. Look at all these. <laughs> oh, what? You actually got your teacher fired? That's ridiculous. I mean, like. As a student, I guess, wow, that, that's probably like the most amazing feeling ever. If I was still in high school and I was able to get my, you know, a teacher that I didn't like fired, oh my god, it was like the best feeling ever. But then like, you know, as an adult, it's sort of messed up because you just made somebody lose their job, right? That's like their livelihood right there. And a lot of times, you know, people can fall into like a financial struggle um, just because you know they're not employed anymore and they have to look for new jobs uh, they have to go through like multiple interviews it's just like a huge headache but then nonetheless she shouldn't have laugh at you I totally get the perspective of like two sides but wow good job and it sucks for her <laughs> it's 
Kitchen and burn it. Stanky and fishy, stanky and fishy. Fishy and stanky, fishy and stanky. I got STDs. They make my coochie itch. <laughs> I think this video is pretty hilarious. I thought the friends were going to join in, uh, you know, to do like a little dance or something. I don't know, do some gestures or something like that. But then everybody would just sort of like staring at the camera, and especially the girl. She was just like, no. Uh. <laughs> like, what the heck is this? But this video is totally hilarious. I mean, like, yeah, I'm very glad that you were able to find some friends to uh, to be in your video. Because sometimes when I invite my friends, they don't even want to be in my videos. So, anyways, <laughs> this video is pretty hilarious. The song is pretty hilarious, too. I wonder what song this is. I better look it up and probably download it on iTunes or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think he totally looked different uh, when he was younger and like I don't think he was chubby or anything at all. I just think he looked totally different. I think it's probably just the hair or something. Like I can't really believe anybody would bully him just because he wasn't really that chubby at all. He looked completely like normal to me. Like I mean I have seen some kids that are like, you know, kinda like up there. But like for you no, you're definitely not one of them. But yeah, um, I guess I'm thinking the new look. <laughs> Alright, that's like another totally relatable video. Um, yeah, so I definitely know what, what he was talking about. You know, my eyes be like looking up, down, you know, left and right, you know, when I was in high school too. Um, but yeah. Alright, that's it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos about Oscar um, and let me know if you guys have any recommendations for the next TikTok star that I should make a video on and feel free to email me or leave a comment in the comment section below. My email is toughestpillow at gmail.com. Feel free to write to me uh, if you guys have any suggestions or complaints or just want to talk to me uh, and I will see you guys next time.